Hey, I'm Ron Richards from All About Android, and I'm here with a review today of Coin, which I've got here in the box. We're going to unbox it. Some of you might have heard about this, oh, about a year, year and a half ago when it was announced. What Coin is, it is a single credit card that you can use with your phone to load all of your credit cards onto it and only have to carry one card in your wallet uh, for the rest of your life. At least that's what it was advertised for. Um, when they announced it, they did a little pre-crowdfunding campaign, a pre-order. It wasn't through Kickstarter, but it allowed you to uh, order it in advance. Uh, it was delayed, extremely criticized. A lot of people canceled their pre-orders. I stuck with it, and finally it got delivered to my door. Uh, as you can see here, it is just the same size as a regular credit card. All right, it looks just the same as any other one. You can see on the back there's a magnetic stripe. It comes pre-printed with my name on it right here. And the way it works is you can utilize the app. Uh, they have an app for Android and iOS that allows you to load your credit cards and then you can sync the credit card information via Bluetooth with the card. And then you can take all your credit cards out of your wallet and just carry the coin. It's great if you've got one of those big bloated George Costanza wallets and you just want to slim down to just one option. The app is really easy to use. In fact, it comes with one of those little card swipers, uh, similar to the Square dongle that plugs into your phone and you can swipe your cards to load the magnetic stripe information. You can take a picture of the front and the back of your card so you have the card information on hand if you need it. Um, and then you put the card away, load it on the coin, and then you can go out into the wild and use it. How it actually works is on this little screen right here, you can see when I press the button, it turns it on and it will give me my information. And I can use the button to scroll through the different cards that I have loaded. And when I have the card that I want to use, I load it up there, I hand it to the merchant, and they swipe it and uh, ring you up. Now, it's got some pros and cons. Uh, the main con is that it doesn't work everywhere. Um, I I've been testing it in San Francisco, and I've had about an 85% success rate with it so far. I did some research, and actually on the COIN website, they have a full FAQ and knowledge base that tells you when and where it works. Um, it works at the majority of stores that, you, that are out there, whether Barnes & Noble and Best Buy, all the grocery stores like Safe Safeway or Wegmans or Ralph's or whatnot, uh, as well as uh, other you know, uh, Bloomingdale's, Macy's, department stores, things like that. Where you run into a problem is for merchants whose system uses track one on the magnetic stripe. And that means the bit of information on the magnetic stripe that contains your name. So there's a handful of merchants that uh, Coin already knows it doesn't work at, places like Applebee's, Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and REI. Um, but that list is very, very small, and Coin has it up on their website, and you can, see, and you can go check it out. Um, some other point-of-sale systems don't support it either, and those are hit or miss in the smaller mom-and-pop stores. Um, a lot of times, for me, what I found is uh, any store that was using an iPad and one of those uh, card swipers on the side of the iPad, it didn't work. It also didn't work with really sketchy ATMs and bars. You know the type, the kind that you put your card in and it pulls it in and then spits it out for you. Uh, for some reason, those ATMs didn't work. But I tried it on my bank's ATM, other bank's ATMs, and it worked like a charm. Uh, I was able to load, I've got three cards on here, and I was able to cycle through all three um, and use them all with, without a problem. So uh, it's really neat. Um, it's a neat bit of, uh, of technology. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that uh, you notice that on the card there is no uh, little chip. Uh, many of you probably in your ATM cards and bank cards are starting to get that little chip on the side. Uh, that is a standard that is coming. Uh, as of October 2015, um, merchants need to be able to support that chip. Um, at this time, COIN on their uh, knowledge base says that it doesn't support it, but they are looking into it, and I can't imagine they're not going to support it uh, as it goes down the road. They just need to figure out that technology. Uh, but that is something to be aware of. Um, as far as whether or not you should buy it or not, i got to give this a try. Uh, it's really neat. Again, it does its job pretty well, but the fact that uh, s there's a handful of merchants that it doesn't work at, and also the price tag, it's $100, uh, makes it more of a luxury than a necessity. Uh, so if you're looking to slim your wallet down, Coin is a great option, but if you don't want to spend $100 to do that, then I would pass on it. So that's Coin. I'm Ron Richards, and you can check us out on All About Android, and I'll see you next time.